Good day, hi, and welcome. All right. We're going to look away, look away now. This is graphic warning. Beaver one is done. Hey, I used the staple method for the first time. Um, I know it doesn't, I don't have a lot of memory left. That's why I didn't do the whole footage. But what I did was basically I started off with my tax. And this takes up the full, full frame. It's a could have been probably a little bit tighter, but I really want good fur density on this. So this is going to tighten up a little bit. So the first thing I do is I tie off my legs. Okay. I don't want to touch it, but uh, slimy beaver. So I got my legs tied off. And I'll trim those up in a moment. So I'm just going to trim them up. Got that one tied, that one tied. Did the back legs. Sometimes people tie them ahead, uh, before, uh, right ahead. Uh, what I do is I kind of half pin it and then I tie them. I could have fleshed it a lot better, I'm sure. Uh, especially up around here, but it's not bad. It's not bad, not my worst. Uh, but definitely a prime pelt. So you get these pins in like this. I start out up here, just kind of widen this out. All this is going to be cut off here uh, on this side of the staples, obviously. And I'll cut this all off, all the lip. You don't need all that. And you can cut it off now or you can cut it off later. You're probably better off to cut it off early because, uh, you know, when you cut it after, you'll see like the line where you cut it. It doesn't look as good. So basically, I just followed the edge. It took up the entire double extra large frame uh, or triple X large frame here. So that's a good cha-ching. So uh, this beaver was bigger than I thought it was. Probably could have been a little bit more even on the tail here, but that's okay. That's okay. So then I pin it like the the tail here. Try to get the legs symmetrical as much as possible. But you got to get it done at some point. Uh, so I'm gonna have to build a whole bunch more beaver stretchers because as of tomorrow, pretty much from tomorrow on, it's going to be craziness. Um, I'll show you my holes. Okay, there's the first nipple. There's the second nipple, and there's the hole I did in the leg. I couldn't really. I don't know if I could do anything with that. I was thinking of putting a piece of cardboard on the other side and grabbing a pin and just seeing if I can kind of sort of semi-pin them together. Don't know if that'll work. But what you can, can't really see it right now because it's fresh, fresh, but you can see where the trap hit. You can see where it broke its neck. Uh, yeah, beaver this big, that trap, I checked the, I checked the spine. The neck was broken. Um, that was a hard hit. So um, you can see that it's not very dark here. Uh, as this dries, it's going to just... You, when there's the guard when your pelts prime it's going to be just a, a little dark here and then the rest is just going to be kind of like this color but darker okay so what ends up happening is you end up with a situation where when the springtime and the hair starts to come out you start to see blotches on this side so there we go i uh, could have done a lot better up there i thought i did better but you know sometimes you just gotta <laughs> it's, just, it's just time but the good news about uh, the beaver pelts is that i got the tail not too bad is that the fat kind of melts away a bit uh, again i could have done a little bit better on it but for the first one not bad not bad after a couple of days it's going to really tighten up it's going to be like a drum and uh, again just I put a staple about every half inch or so that thing's all greasy and slimy so i'm not going to touch it i don't know if you guys can see the staples but there's like one there and it just you know follows the ridge uh, hopefully none of them will pull out uh i pulled it as taut as i could looks like my <laughs> my frame's a little bit crooked this way but that's a blanket that's a <laughs> yeah that's a that's a pretty good beaver all right there we go so that's beaver number one and it begins